everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know be sure to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so when i upload readings you guys will be notified all right so mm, okay and at the bottom of the deck we have one last chance and phone call somebody is thinking about you a lot I didn't see any of these cards in your pre-shuffle, but what I did see in your pre-shuffle is somebody feels like you won't allow them to move forward or you won't get over something and uh, allow the, the both of you to fix it. It's like someone feels like you're sitting in something that has happened and they're wondering if you guys are ever going to be able to come out of that energy, um, maybe talk about the situation deal with it and move forward or are you guys are going are you guys going to continue to be stuck that's um the energy that i was picking up in and you're picking up on in your pre-shuffle but um all right so this could be an x for some of you because we have x lover unfinished business or this could be someone that you're still talking to but this person don't know where they stand with you they have a lot of passion for you they could be thinking about calling you. Maybe this person tried to reach out to you already, but you have them blocked. They want let one last chance with you. But this was definitely someone who was procrastinating. They were taking their time, you know, waiting around possibly to see what you were going to do. And then when you decided not to move or not to budge or not to show them how much you care or don't care. Now this person is sort of confused about what it is that you're thinking and feeling what you want from them or if you even want them at all anymore. All right, we have apology. Regret. And we're taking a risk. All right, so some of you may feel like no matter how much this person regrets what they did, no matter how much they want to apologize, you may feel like taking this person back is very risky. Feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage, and I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? So this is someone who obviously still have feelings for you, but they could be hiding their feelings right now or maybe thinking like, okay, well, she knows how I feel or he knows how I feel. I'm just waiting to have a conversation so we can talk about things and discuss it. But also, I feel like this is someone who don't want to discuss what has happened in the past. They may want to talk about how can you guys move forward. Like you may want to talk about what happened. Whatever happened between the two of you is going to be different for everyone. But you may want to talk about the details of what happened and you may want answers and you may feel like, no, I, you know, there's something going on that I need to know about. I, I need an explanation. I need closure or clarity or something here. I'm picking up the energy that someone needs clarity or they need closure. Whatever it is, it's going to be different. So take it how it resonates with you if you're resonating with this reading. Um, but this isn't someone who wants to go back over the details. This is someone who's like, can we just move forward? Can we just move on? And I feel like that's the problem here where you're like, no. Like some of you are not even talking to this person. And for those of you who are talking to this person, maybe you have an attitude with them. We have new love here. Some of you may be thinking about not going back to your person. Yep, look at that. Healthy changes and new love. You may feel like it would be healthier for you to go in a new direction and meet someone else. You're like, okay, let me see what else is out there because obviously this person keeps playing games with me. We also have fear at the bottom of the deck. So some of you may obviously fear this going in a different direction. You may be like, okay, I have to meet someone new. I have to get to know this person all over again, get to know their family, get to know their kids, whatever it is. You know, um, some of you may be tired of starting over and you're expecting the worst or that's how you feel when you think about, you know, new love. But we have, there's something in your life that isn't helping your body or your mind. 
focus on creating a wellness body and health mind like a healthy mind here that could be you having headaches um maybe you get stressed out when you think about this person and something that they put you through or you just think about the situation you know sometimes stress is like harsh no matter like how much you're stressing out um, or how little you're stressing out, sometimes it affects your appetite. It affects your thought process. Like if you're at work and you're thinking about this person all day, it may not be healthy to do so because you can't focus. Or you may, you know, sit there thinking about a situation or scrolling on your phone and then you look up at the clock and you're like, damn, I didn't even get anything done. <laughs> and I've been here like all morning or all day or whatever it is for you. But, um, I feel like this person, they've brought some unhealthy situations in your life. And the universe is saying it's time to um, make healthy changes for yourself. You know, whether this person understands it or not, that's on them. So if you need to pull away from them to do so, then the universe is saying you're doing the right thing. We have worried. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you. We have worry, reconciliation, pain, and the worst. This could be about someone keeping you a secret. And you may feel like I'm nobody's secret. You know, either we go together or we're in a relationship or whatever it is you want to call it, or we don't. There's no keeping me a secret. There's no hiding me. We also have your worst. Some of you feel like this person brings out the worst in you. They may um, cause you to act in ways that you normally would not. But... um this is someone who may ex be experiencing some, experiencing some pain behind the scenes. I don't know why I can't talk today. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's this person's energy or somebody's energy here where they like, they want to talk to you, but they feel like they don't know what to say. And if they do say something, the words may not come out right. It says, I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. They want a reunion. They have some, some hurt behind this. We also have pregnant. Fake account. Someone may make a fake account to um, try and talk to you, especially if you have this person blocked. And some of you may be pregnant. And you may be trying to think about what it is that you're going to do about your situation, whether you're going to keep it, you know, or not, whether you're going to tell this person about it. Um, some of you, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that you may be pregnant. And you don't want this person in your life. You may have already like figured it out. Like, I don't care. I'm going to, you know, do what's best for me, but I don't want to deal with the person that I'm pregnant by. Take how it resonates. That's not everyone's situation, but that's somebody's story here. I'm picking up on that energy. You're like, I'm just going to, you know, do what I feel. Or I'm not going to discuss it with anyone. What messages do you have for the collective? The next couple of days. Some of you are going to hear from someone in the next couple of days. We have healing and I love you and ghosted. This person could have ghosted you and they're going to come back around trying to love bomb you. But guess what? You don't want to hear it. You're like, don't bring, sorry about that, I hit the camera. You're like, don't bring this fake energy back towards me. Don't come back towards me trying to love bomb me after you ghosted me. So I feel like someone disappeared on you or they just withdrew their energy for whatever reason. And it's like, you may reach out to this person, they act really weird. And they may say things like, I'll call you back, I'll text you later, but you don't hear from them. And so you're like, what the hell, like what's going on? Like, why would you be that busy not to text me back or not to call me back? Like, if I'm not on your mind, then who is? We also have jealousy. Afraid to lose you, want you all to themselves. Some of you are wondering, should you fight for this relationship? We are fighting for what you love. Yeah. Either this is you or your person. But some of you are like, should I fight for this relationship? One minute I feel like you're holding a grudge against this person. 
And the next minute you're like, I don't know if I if I do want to give them another chance, maybe we can get over this. I feel like there's a lot of mixed feelings and there's a lot of confusion between you and your person right now. I feel like somebody wakes up and wants to text you or call you because they thought about you all night. Yep, look what just came out. I'm telling you, I feel like someone wakes up like you know what should i text her or should i text him i never missed anyone in my life as much as i miss you we have sit this out i feel like this person is mad that you're sitting this out or they don't know how to how to take it they don't they don't understand it they're like what has this person holding back for me like is it someone is it just their feelings and their emotions are they just that mad at me that they can sit this out. Someone may be worried. Like how are you even able. To like not talk to them. So I feel like what's happening here is. The shoe was on the other foot. For some of you. Like this person is finally realizing. What you've been feeling. And what you've been going through all this time. Like these are some of the feelings. That you've been having. Like how can this person not talk to me. How can they go days. Without saying anything to me. Or weeks. And then pop back into my life expecting me to talk to them. We also have lived differently. Real progress calls for not just new thoughts, but new patterns and doing things. <coughs> I apologize. I tried to hold that sneeze in for so long. All right. So um, this lived differently card. Real progress calls for not just new thoughts, but new patterns and doing things differently. And we have overcoming obstacles, foolish, and stalking. There is somebody here who's stalking you bad, okay? And even if you don't want to overcome this obstacle, they do. <laughs> they definitely do. They feel foolish for maybe letting you go. Feeling like they can't replace you. All right, let's get one more. And then we're going to get some tarot. Give me one more. Oh. The universe said three more. Okay, I'll take them. We have praying for better days, financial trouble, and unsent messages. Somebody may need your help, or they may want to talk to you about something that they're going through. You may think is one thing, but it really could be something else that they're just not wanting to talk about because it involves their finances, maybe a job, maybe they don't have enough money for something. They could have incurred some sort of unexpected debt. I don't know why I just heard taxes for someone. Somebody's taxes. Somebody may have gotten a letter in the mail from the IRS. Or something happened um, with something concerning a bank. But anyway, we have unsent messages. I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. Um, I feel like this person that you're dealing with could have a lot of other issues going on behind the scenes besides what you guys are going through. All right. So let's see what else comes up here. All right. At the bottom of the deck, before we move on, we had prepare for what's to come. So there's something that's coming in here, or it could be a conversation. It could be a conversation. If you want to talk to this person, we have prepared for what's to come, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, being vulnerable with each other. So if you were waiting for someone to reach out to you or you were like, either they're going to reach out to me or we're not going to talk at all, it's coming. Because you also had a phone call as well. So some of you, this could be a text message coming in because that phone call is all about communication. Even if they don't like call you maybe this person is afraid to call you yeah look at this the eight of pentacles popped out in the reverse somebody could have lost their job we have the tower uh -huh. I'm telling you if this person didn't lose their job maybe they something with their pay is not right or they may feel like i'm just working and my paycheck is already spent when i get it so it's like, it doesn't even matter if I get paid because I'm still not going to have any money. 
this could be causing problems for you guys relationship as well because if this person's money isn't right then it's like oh all right yeah they don't feel like talking some of you don't know that there's something else going on behind the scenes with your person or maybe you do and you're like that don't have anything to do with me i also feel like this person may feel a um, hurt or lonely because they normally have you to talk to or they could ask you for help and maybe tell you they would pay you back when they get it but because you guys aren't talking and they are going through this they may feel like they're alone and they don't have anyone because we have the nine of swords the ten of wands the tower the eight of pentacles reversed and the page of swords so this person is sort of looking for, or looking for someone to lean on or either um wanting to talk about something this is also someone who's getting information so they may need your help and like they may be like okay well she would know what to do or he would know what to do but i feel like because you're not talking to this person or you have them blocked um or all of the above they're like they gotta go through this tower situation by themselves I feel like somebody may forfeit, um, they may have forfeit talking to you in the past because I feel like they want to talk to you now. They want a conversation with you. They want to reach out to you, but they may have held off in the past talking to you because they don't want to hear how disappointed you are in them. Like you may be disappointed in this person. Like you may feel like they can never get their life together. You're like we can't possibly have a relationship like this. The Two of Cups. This is a soulmate or a twin flame for some of you. The High Priestess. Some of you are going to wind up coming back together with this person against your better judgment. Yep, Page Wands. So we have the Good News card, the Two of Cups, and the High Priestess. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Pisces. We have Aries Leo Sagittarius here with the Page of Wands. So this is the Good News card. Some of you are going to find out if you don't know already. Maybe you're doubting it and you're questioning it. If this person still loves you, they do. And I feel like this is someone who's like, even if they were like playing games or whatever, they don't want anyone else. But I feel like this had to take place in this way. Things had to fall apart, possibly with this tower card being here. Because this was some sort of shakeup, either for this person or for this relationship or both. They may have had a lot of things going on and then the relationship fell apart and this person just feels like everything is falling apart around them. But you're trusting your intuition about something with this high priestess because you're not playing with this person. The six of cups. Yeah, this person wants a reconciliation and they feel like whatever was done was done and they can't undo it. You have the Eight of Cups. So either you walked away from them and they walked away from you, but they want to bring things back together. Yeah, this person is, this is an air sign for some of you, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that is realizing how unfair they've been to you. And they want this Six of Cups. At some point though, I feel like this King of Swords may have thought about walking away and then realized that they couldn't. Maybe they tried. To stay away from you but they just keep thinking about you the seven of cups the king of wands oh and the hermit okay what is this person feeling and then we have the lovers the seven of wands all right so we have virgo energy here we have gemini energy and we have aries leo sagittarius i'm trying to see what is this person thinking and feeling though somebody may be uh if you're dealing with a fire sign they may be feeling like you know, either we're going to move forward. Either we're going to bring this back together, and move forward, or we're going to break up. They're waiting for you to tell them what it is that you want to do. 
they feel like even though you're not speaking to them, that's not good enough. They just feel like you're mad. Like, okay, she's angry or he's angry. They'll talk to me in a minute. I'll hear from them. But they're like, okay, if you don't want this, then just say that. Like this person may feel like you're being petty and you're holding out trying to hurt them. Because this is somebody with the Hermit card and the Seven of Wands. They're getting mad because they don't know what you want or they don't know how to take the situation. They're like, okay, is it really truly over? Do I need to stand my ground or do I need to actually let this go? But you and this person both are feeling the same, the same way, but for different reasons. You're being resilient here with the nine of wands because you may feel like you can't trust them. You're like, I can't come towards you. I, I, you maybe don't feel comfortable with somebody. You're like, I don't feel comfortable. I, I can't trust you. You're not loyal. Like, how can we have a relationship like that? Some of you are big on that. Like that's, that's above everything. And because you've been through so much with this person or you've been through it in the past with someone else, you know what it looks like. And they may be trying to tell you something different. And you're like, no, it's weird. It's weird energy. It's someone who's holding back from you for no reason. But then they come towards you. They want your attention. Once they get it, it's like things are good for a little bit. And then they go right back to the way they were. And some of you are like, I just don't know what to do with this. I can't do this anymore. And it's not because you don't love this person. Because we had the lovers here. And we have the two of cups. Um, you may feel like there's just a major choice and love that you have to make here. And you want to make sure that you don't make the wrong choice and regret it later on down the line. Maybe like, okay, I should have walked away from the situation when I actually was in the mind frame to do so. All right, let's get one more. this was that wanted to come out the moon and the seven of swords the five of cups some of you're gonna this person is gonna tell you how sad they are without you somebody's gonna tell you yeah you may wind up talking to this person and then finding out that they were really going through it when they weren't talking to you they were really struggling. But I feel like this person felt, um, they felt better not being vulnerable because they didn't know how you felt. So they maybe didn't want to be vulnerable and just be sitting out there by themselves. This could be a Pisces. of one somebody is coming up with a plan yeah you know why they're coming up with this plan because of this nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is a very independent energy it's like i can be with you and i can have a relationship with you and be fine and i cannot be with you and be you know be without you and also be fine and i feel like this is the energy that you're giving off to this person. I don't know whether you're saying it to them. Some of you text this person something that made them realize that um, you weren't playing around. Maybe you text them and then never said anything else to them after that. And they expect it, to, um, you know, for you to keep texting them and to keep fussing at them. And maybe that's something that you've done before. And now you're like, nope. I know who I am. I know my worth. I do for myself. I don't ask this person for anything. So you could be looking at the situation in that way. Like, what do I get out? Of, what am I getting out of this? What do I ask this person for? Like, you know, loyalty, consistency. But what you get is the three of swords, heartbreak and sadness and confusion. All right, let's get one more. Give me one more. Oh, spirit said two. Somebody that was dragging their feet is ready to apologize. They want a peaceful resolution. They're going to compromise. You're going to definitely get communication. 
They want to end this conflict that you guys are in. This could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn here that felt, you know what? I feel like this person it always does this. They always do this. They, they drag their feet like you guys go through something and instead of them handling things when it happens, they sort of, uh, they hide out. For whatever reason, this may be a bad habit that they have from, you know, other relationships where this is something that they did and it worked for their, you know, in their favor, but it's not working. <laughs> it's not working for them. Um, yeah. All right. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.